Hello, my name is Adam Hughes. I'm an application engineer with Go Engineer, and today we're going to take a look at some advanced techniques while using the sketch tool in SolidWorks. So the first thing to note is that while using the sketch text tool, SolidWorks uses the folder in Windows that contains all your text files. Let's go ahead and take a look at where that's at. If you go to Start, Control Panel, Appearance and Personalization, Fonts, Anything in this directory that contains a .ttf file will show up in our category of fonts to select. So if you needed to add a company specific text or a client specific text uh, to SolidWorks, you do it right here in Windows. All right, now that that's taken care of, let's go and add some text. So we can come to our sketch text tool and click on a curve to curve or align, right, to center our sketch. And if we go ahead and type in some text here. All right, cool. So next we might need to change the font type or make it bold or what have you. So let's go ahead and unselect document font and select our own font. Here we can change our font, our font style, and our font height. Let's go ahead and make this uh, chiller and we'll do bold and change the height to 12. Click OK. All right, there we go. So that looks good. Only when we create a, a sketch in SolidWorks, typically our sketches have to be neat, closed, right? Uh, no extras, so on and so forth. So you'll see here that we have some extras. Oh, let's just trim that away. So let's grab my trim tool and, oh wait, can't trim it. Huh, well, so in order to edit a text in SolidWorks, we must first dissolve the, the text into a sketch. So if we go ahead and right click our text and note that I'm getting the text cursor, the cursor with the A on it. If I right click our text, then I can choose to dissolve sketch text. So when I click that, SolidWorks creates line work, sketch work, that represents that sketch geometry. Now if I need to go through and make changes, I can simply take my trim tool and trim away anything that is not needed. I can also choose to box and delete. If that might be easier for you, you can go ahead and box and delete. Here I'm just cleaning up this W to uh, make it one continuous sketch, one continuous close sketch for that matter, so that SolidWorks can um, extrude box space, extrude cut, so on and so forth. Now that that's completed, I can go ahead and, and attempt a uh, extrude boss. So here under my selected contours, I'm going to select this W, this one W that I cleaned up. We'll just go ahead and, and choose to extrude that 10 millimeters. With the contour selected, you can see the propagation of the W. Now, if I chose to attempt to select the W next to it, which has not been cleaned up, you'll notice that my preview changes, and I, I, I actually don't get the solid feature. So when I unselect that and I hit the green check, the W will be embossed and my uh, cleanup work will continue for the rest of the characters. Now once you do a dissolve sketch text you'll notice that it's no longer a text that's actually line work. So any font information that you had before is no longer editable since it's just lines now. Frequently we might have to go back and change the overall height to make our sketch text larger, right? Our dissolve sketch text larger. In this case what I would recommend to do is to go back to that sketch, edit the sketch, Select the entities that you want to make larger, and then use the scale, rotate, move, copy, any one of those that applies to change your text file from here forth. So there's just a quick look at some advanced techniques in SolidWorks, uh, specifically with sketch text.
So now that I've finished up the rest of the cleanup work on the sketch, I'm going to go ahead and extrude my uh, text. So I'll just go ahead and continue to select my contours, one click at a time. And now my text is created. I hope this helps and I hope this answers any of your questions about sketch text. This is Adam Hughes with Go Engineer. Thanks for watching.